과 네. 일치하더라는 겁니다. 그래서 자, 이제 추가 조사를 했습니다. 자 그럼 아까 네. 뭐 에코 사운드라고 수심 사운드라고 측정기라고 하죠? 네. 쉬운 말로. 네. 아, 수심을 재는 그 측정기. 그러면 이제 다시 의문이 생긴 겁니다. 그걸 수심을 측정한다고만 생각하고 있었어요. 그래서 아 지형과 관련이 있구나. 근데 그걸 언제 사용하냐? 언제 사용하냐를 항해사 선장들한테 물어봤어요. 우리는 배를 모르니까 투묘. 투명할 때 쓴다고 하시. 이게 뭔 투명은 뭔가 했더니 앵커를 내릴 때 쓰는 거랍니다. 일반적으로 항해를 할 때, 그럼 법적으로 항해할 때 항상 켜야 되는 겁니까?라고 이제 질문을 드렸는데 선장님들과 항해사들이 아니 그걸 왜 켜냐고 계속. 왜냐하면 이렇게 항해를 할 때는 자기가 아는 코스고 깊은 데로만 다니니까 켤 일이 없는 거예요. 그러다가 항구나 이런 데가 갖고 앵커를 내려야, 내려야, 내려야 되는데 깊이를 잘 모르거든요. 해도가 정확하지는 않으니까 종이 해도가 그러니까 밑에 내 앵커가 잘 내려갖고 이쯤에 한 사람은 난간에 날아가서 부딪혀 갈비가 부러질 정도로 한 사람은 문을 통과해 날아가 복도를 지나 다른 방법에 부딪힐 정도로 그러니까 그러면 저렇게 사람이 탁 날아갈 도로 최였던 지심이 어디냐? 감독님이 발견한 지심은 여기에요. 여기였다. Right upper photo shows deck A under the steering house where students stayed. Right middle photo shows deck B and right lower photo shows the place where general passengers stayed. I'll show the situation from 0705. Take attention in the time zone of 070524. 이 Let's watch the video showing C. Chan, again. C. Chan found a material, took out his handset. And took the photos of the material tracking it backward. If he took the pictures of a ship, he would not need to track the ship for photographing. This is the photo taken by C. Chan. Si Chen seemed to take the photos of the material over a ship, rather than the ship. The length is about 7 meters and height is about 1.4 meters above the sea. This might the material which collided against Si Wall Ferry or part of the material. The first mystery is that certain impact was given to Si Wall Ferry at 0705. All the students who saw this situation at that time have gone remaining this mysterious situation only. Speed changes for 10 seconds from 08.14.50 to 08.15.00 or 
It's not clear whether lower speeds are correct or high speeds are correct and whether both of them are incorrect. The radar turns every three seconds for scanning and such record is inconsistent with the scanning cycle. 2. Ghost AIS This data was found by the father of Su Hyun who took part in previous episode. This data shows the communication between head office and Mokpo office in the urgent situation that Seawall Ferry fell down and started drifting. What's the matter with Seawall Ferry now? She is sinking now. They say she is tilted to port board. We are taking measures now oh, is it real sinking? Now, she is sailing at 18 knots. You are correct. Our AIS shows the same but they say she tilted now. Is she tilted? Yes, it was reported she was tilted and sinking. Seawall Ferry fell down already but AIS information that she is sailing at 18 knots is received from a place. Many ships including Dula Ace could not receive the AIS information on Seawall Ferry at that time. However, the head office of the Coast Guard was receiving AIS information on Seawall Ferry from a place. The head office is in Antrim and the center in Sechuang City received such information and transmitted it to the head office. This is similar data. Yes, number 512 helicopter is also coming from the site of Grigido Island. I asked number 2 helicopter. I will tell you the accurate position. Current position is 34 degrees 11.4 minutes, 125 degrees 57.3 minutes. Seawall Ferry is about 220 meters under and about 230 meters right of the position informed by Jindo VTS. You watch the record of Jindo VTS. The coordinates informed by Jindo VTS was not correct and Captain Moon appeared and informed the coordinates of Seawall Ferry obtained in his radar. The positions were checked and, in case of position 3, government's data shows about 200 meters of deviation. The government's tracks are false data. Other coordinates were additionally found. The coordinates of Seawall Ferry were asked by Jeju Office and Makpo Office told the coordinates of point 4. This position has 450 meters of deviation. It was possible to verify such facts because Captain Moon provided us with the data concerned. Thank Captain Moon. Let's clear data through Jin Sung Jun, a National Assembly member. Blue smooth tracks were reported by the government and are consistent with sailors' statements. However, Navy radar data shows infractious tracks. The position is inconsistent with government's data. What's important in relation to this inconsistency is that the tracks shown in Navy radar data are highly infractious. When looking at this data, weirder matters are found. Seawall Ferry can turn about 18 degrees for 10 seconds but Navy radar data shows significantly rapid turns of Seawall Ferry. Seawall Ferry turned almost 45 degrees in point 1 and point 2, respectively, and turned almost 90 degrees in point 3 and point 4, respectively. Such tracks cannot be made by a 6,000 ton class ship. A professional protecting the government severely criticized saying that Navy radar data was waste. However, other professionals said Navy radar data is usually very accurate. We suspected these radar data lost sections. At first, the data was unavailable for these two sections. When AIS data was compared with Navy radar data, Band points in Navy radar data were consistent with radar data lost sections. Director Kim started to think that the tracks shown in Navy radar data might be the truth and that corresponding parts might be deleted to hide something. The word tracks were moved to meet Captain Moon's chart.
When I watched this video for the first time, I got Xe flesh. This yellow part is Pyeongpungdo Island. The shape of the tracks is similar with the shape of contours. Especially, the points having L-shaped tracks showed higher consistency. Accordingly, Director Kim thought that the tracks might be related with seabed topography. Let's go back to the past and remember the materials brought from the steering house. There was a white square material among them. It had about 30 centimeters of width and length, respectively, and consisted of two same width paper bundles. Director Kim assumed that such dimensions of papers might not be documents but must be specific purpose of papers and tried to find out the equipment that might use such papers in the steering house, he found the equipment. An echo sounder uses such kind of papers. It uses 15 centimeter width of papers. This echo sounder is used to measure seabed depths. Seabed depths are recorded on these papers like a seismometer. Professional when the echo sounder is used and he answered that it is used for anchoring. As to say, it is used to drop an anchor. Do you remember that left anchor was not seen in the photo taken at about 0932 but appeared since about 0935? Reappeared anchor was not a well cleaned anchor and seemed to be coated with mud. Director Kim analyzed five minutes before the occurrence of the accident. It was found that Seawall Ferry might sail dropping her left anchor to meet the topography so that the anchor would be caught. At the point where the anchor might be caught, Seawall Ferry turned sharply and the speed was reduced. For example, at this position, the anchor might be caught and seawall ferry turn but, after that, the speed was increased. At that time, seawall ferry sailed at almost the highest speed. You may remember the scene. A passenger was thrown on the sea through a left door from the sofa and was not found after all. Another passenger slid from the sofa and collided against outdoor guardrails resulting in fracture of his ribs. A student collided against a room wall through the door of his room in the lobby. This event might occur in point 3 inches this figure. There was a cargo truck driver who used Seawall Ferry or Oamana Ferry three times a month at least. It's the event during a phone call with his friend on the left board on the third floor. In consideration of the effective angle of view of a man. A picture was drawn to express that the person was looking at Byeongpungdo Island at the position of Seawall Ferry. As he said, the lower part of Byeongpungdo Island was only seen. If he experienced the event of position 4, upper part of the island must be seen but lower part was seen in fact. If he was at this position to meet government's data, Whole island must be seen at a look and upper part must be more clearly seen. He said that his body was turned to the left at the moment of the event. If his body was turned to the left, Seawall Ferry must turn to the left. If an anchor was caught, this point might act as a turning axis and Seawall Ferry might turn sharply as shown. And then, the persons in the ship might turn with the ship. You saw this data already and, when the tracks were reproduced based on AIS data, the tracks looked weird. Seawall Ferry turns to the left sharply. It was thought that such weird tracks might be caused by the mistake in the process to fake data but, when thinking the matter again now, such weird tracks might be the truth. It's now possible to explain the tracks which could not be explained by the government until now. These tracks cannot be made during a normal sail but may be made when an anchor is caught. Traces of collisions should also be checked. Possibility that the anchor bounded and collided against Seawall Ferry. In fact, guardrails were cut and bent and a steel plate was cut with an external impact. There was nothing but the possibility that such traces were generated with the collisions by the anchor. It is required to confirm that, 
when considering the weight of the anchor and the speed of seawall ferry at that time, the anchor might generate such traces after bounding from seabed. When considering the length of anchor chains and the depth in the place, there is the possibility of collision by the anchor. Confirmation will be possible through calculation of the impulse and simulation tests. When the result of simulation tests is obtained, I will show you the result. Director Kim reviewed lots of data so many times and, through numerous trials and errors, made this